Number 74 is a uh, uh, punch toward the ground in Chinese, zi dang chui. Oh, let me show you. So after we have the right kick, uh, cross the legs, then I show you this way. So for feet movement, this one is uh, uh, similar to deflect parry and punch. Okay. So uh, we start with uh, the right kick, right? then you drop down your right foot and uh, sit down, okay, roll down your left leg, so you are sitting down, and then your right foot step to front right, okay, uh, with the toes lifted and uh, heel touch the ground. Then you move your body, the weight of your body to your right foot, while your right foot continue turn to right. That means that turn your toes of your right foot to the right, while you are moving your body to your right foot. Okay, then. Um, finally, when you put the toes of your right foot on the ground, then it pointing to like uh, uh, northwest 45 degree, okay, to northwest. Then your body moving to your right foot, right? Then you lift the left foot, then step your left foot forward, okay, in front left, okay, of course. Then to make a left both steps. Okay, so if I show you this way. We start the right kick, then you drop down, then you step uh, front right, okay, with toes lift, then continue, turn to right as you move your body to your right foot, then step the left foot forward, then make the both steps. So that's how you move your feet, just like deflect, parry and punch. Then your hands, um, yeah, I shall show you this way, okay. Your hands, and your right, right hand changing into fist, okay. First it's palm, right? Then changing into a fist, then drop down while you are changing into a fist. Then as you uh, step your right foot, to front right, okay. you move your right foot to front right in a circle, okay. you not just moving this way. Okay. So you're moving your right foot in a circle, okay. not just moving this way. So as you move your right foot in a circle, your body turn slide to the left, then to the right. So it's going this way, and your hand the right hand first is palm changing into a fist. Then it's follow your body's transit going this way. So just like deflect, we did deflect like that, right? So this one, the first part, just like deflect. Okay. So uh, so you are done this part. Then your body continue turn to right while you are moving your body to your right foot and your right fist continue turn to right. Okay. So uh, this part is not like a different kind of pad punch. Okay. So this part we continue turn to right and go down and go close to your body then arrive beside your uh, right waist. Okay. So go here. Now your left foot is ready to step forward. 
and your left hands brush I mean brush the left knee and arrive beside the left uh, side of your uh, left leg okay. and the right fist continue punch forward okay. so basically the right hand this way so like that then go to right go close to your body then go in a low position and that's punch forward okay then uh, when you finish this punch it should be about your uh, abdominal level or even low so it's going this way. And then the left hand, not much. The left hand just jump down, then go behind the right fist, then follow the right fist, go to the right. Then as your body already on your right foot and you're ready to step the left foot forward, then the left hand go brush then go brush as your body turn back to facing uh, front of you then it's brush and your right fist punch forward okay. so this one uh, kind of similar to the number 34 Plant a punch to the ground. Okay, plant a punch. So with plant punch, what we did is like that. We move it forward, then downward. But this one, uh, a punch toward ground, we don't go downward. We just move it forward. And kind of upward actually so it's going a low position then forward then a little bit upward so when you finish you are in a left bow stance and your left hand is beside left leg and the right fist is in front of you at about abdominal level okay so that's called a punch toward groin a common issue with uh, this one is uh, that um, because the punch is performed in a very low position, so many people tend to uh, bend their body, their up body, um, too much. Okay, so you need to try to avoid that kind of thing. Try to finish the. Uh, perform the punch, um, keep your upper body um, straight up, okay, but like sitting down, just your low part sitting down. So many people will do, see, many people will do that. See, so you should try avoid that. Just relax the right leg, uh, right arm, okay. then it will be much easier. So like that. Okay. Now relax the right arm. So let the fist go, go lower than punch. So that way you avoid like doing this. Number seventy-five is uh, grasp a sparrow's tail. Okay, so this one is uh, exactly like uh, number twenty-six. 
grasp the spiral's tail up the way uh, the black penny and punch. So <coughs> this one, <coughs> we start with uh, the, the punch for Brownie, then So we have uh, repeated many times grasp spiral tail. Only uh, the only thing you need to uh, uh, know about this one is how to start from this punch, right? So what you do is you lift the toes of your left foot and turn 45 degree open towards the uh, southwest. Then move your body to your left foot then step your right foot forward make both stands okay and your two hands you just like open the fist of your right hand open it as you move your body to your left uh, foot okay then move the two hands close to your body with the left hand um, with left hand behind the right hand and with the two uh, fingers of your left hand pointing upward and the fingers of your right hand pointing to the left like that right. now you are ready to make the palm okay, the first part of grasp the spiral step then just follow uh, what you have done but grasp a spark's tail. The number uh, 76 is single whip. Number 77 is a low single whip. Okay. We all uh, have discussed them. So, nothing new. Okay. So, let me start with the punch to the brownie. Grasp the sparrow's tail. Single whip. Number 78 is seven stars. Uh, in Chinese, Sang Hu Qi Xing. Okay, let me show you. So we have a uh, low single whip. As you can see, the posture looks like uh, the form of the seven stars in the sky. So that's how uh, can this name. And uh, the movement, the feet movement, the first part is same as what we do from low uh, single whip to the golden descent. We just did that. Okay, so it's like a, a low single whip. Then you lift the toes of left foot and turn out. Then your body like uh, moving forward to your left foot. Then turn the toes of your right foot in. Then lift the heel of your right foot. Then lift the right foot totally. Take it close to your left foot, then pass it. Okay, so pass in your left foot, then step forward, just touch ground with toes of your left foot, and leave the left foot empty. Okay. So 
uh, finally, you make a left, left empty stance. Okay. So that's how you uh, move the feet. And then your hands. The first part is similar, like uh, the golden pheasant, same thing. Okay. So we have uh, here. Right? Then your hands first moving like a left hand moving forward as your body moving forward okay. and then the right hand push backward as you turn the toes of your left foot in and push your body forward so your right hand is actually moving backward okay. going this way look at that uh, rotate so the hook of your right hand is pointing up just like we did for the first part of um, Golden Pheasant. Okay. Then next, then you lift the right, the uh, heel of your right foot, then you take the right foot close to your left foot, and your right hook changing into fist. Okay. So changing into fist, and you take back along with your right foot so it's go together with your right foot then as your right foot step forward and uh, uh, put on the ground okay empty your right hand right fist uh, moving under the left hand and at that time your left hand also changing from palm to fist Okay, so if I show you this way, it will be like that. See, oh, uh, turn your toes of your left foot open and uh, go in this way. Then, see, then as you take the right foot close to your body and uh, step forward, your right hand changing into a fist from hook changing it to fist and move it close uh, under your left hand and left hand just changing from the palm changing from the palm to a fist and the two fist cross in front of your body okay see and uh, 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 see, like that, so uh, your right foot is empty, okay, and your body is sitting, and your two fist cross in front of your body. It's about your uh, chin or your next level, like that. Okay, so when you finish, your body is in that kind of shape. Okay, so it, it suppose looks like the seven stars in the sky. There are several things you need to pay attention. Uh, first, just like uh, I mentioned in Golden Pheasant, like from the low single whip to uh, next, you need to move your uh, whole body support by your two feet to like uh, supporting only with left foot and during that process you need to uh, maintain your balance okay and you need to, like uh, um, empty the right foot first before you take it take it and uh, lift it from the ground okay so uh, don't bounce your right foot. That's the first thing. Uh, so you need like to use muscle here, here to take the right foot close to your body. Okay. So that's the first thing you need to pay attention. Second one uh, is your two hands. Your two hands moving upward and uh, form the cross hands or cross fists. Uh, in front of your body
body, um, they should be in defensive uh, way. Uh, sh they should be done in defensive way. Like you defense some against against some. Okay, so it's not just simply like moving here and moving upward. Okay, so you need um, like a strike uh, and also uh, ward off like pum. You need a, in Chinese the pum energy inside your your arm and your fist. Okay, like that. Uh, to have that kind energy, so you need like. Push back your yeah. push back your yeah, your yeah, back part here like as you like like push your yeah, two arm forward. Okay. So they need to be pushed like that. So just not simply not simply like moving your two hands here. And another thing you need to pay attention is the left hand a uh, left foot must be empty. Take no weight, okay, and hundred percent empty while you are doing that. So you support your whole body just with your left foot, okay, and to also keep your upper body straight up. Okay, so uh, many people will tend to like that. They bend, bend their, bend their. In their bot up part for, uh, backward, or some people will do that, so that's all not good. So you need to keep your up body straight up, and uh, because I said we need a pump of ward off energy inside your arm and your fist, so actually you should push here a little back. Uh, still another thing you need to pay attention is keep space between your arm and your body okay so not like that okay but like that and meanwhile so pay attention don't lose your elbow or don't lose your shoulder okay that's also a very easy uh, mistake people make when they see they do that they tend to raise their shoulder and elbow, that's not good. So you need to drop your elbow and drop your shoulder in the time. Okay. So and the two fists, the heart of your fist is facing inside. Okay. So it's not like that. But like that. Okay, so that's the seven stars. After seven stars, next one is uh, stride a tiger. Let me show you. So we have uh, seven stars like that. If I show you this way. Okay, so this one, uh, simple. What you do is with uh, <coughs> seven stone, we have a uh, right empty stance. Okay, so the left, uh, right foot is empty, just touch the ground with the tools, right? Then you take the right foot first, go close to the left foot. Then move backward to the right. Okay. Touch ground with toes first, then heel, and your body move to your right foot. Okay. And your body turn to the right. Then um, when you put your right foot on the ground solidly, it should be like uh, pointing to south east 45 degree. Then you lift the uh, left foot, then 
take it close to your body halfway, put it down on the ground, okay. and uh, make a left empty stance. Okay. So we start with a right empty stance and go one step back and uh, make a left empty stance. So that's how you move the feet. And the, the hands So as you take the right foot backward, your two fist open and jump down. And right hand go down as your body uh, uh, turn to right. Uh, so it's go down and go right. And the, as your body moving, to the right foot and uh, start turning back like uh, your body first turn to right as you move your right foot backward and it's turn back facing east again your right hands moving up so it's first moving down to the right and moving upward and uh, moving a little bit forward so as your body turn, turn to the left, okay, facing east. So your right hands going this way. So it's moving, following your body. Your body is moving. Okay. So that's how your right hands moving, and the left hands. Left hands just oh, first your fist open, go go down, and uh, it's. Just go beside your left uh, waist. Okay. Then as your body moving, uh, turning back to the left, your left hands actually moving a little bit forward. Okay. So if I show you this way, here. So your left hands just dropping and open and. As your body moving, uh, turning to the left, your left hands actually moving a little bit forward. Okay, so going this way. So see the right hand going down, going up a little bit forward, and the left hand also going down, uh, moving as your body moving. And when your body turn back, the left hand actually don't follow your body, continue to turn to the left. But it actually moving forward, so going this way. So when you finish your two hands, is the left hand is beside the left uh, waist and a little bit uh, in, uh, in front of it. And the right hand is uh, up uh, beside your right temple. Okay. So it's here. And the palm, the left hand facing down, the right hand facing up uh, forward, and a little bit. Upward. So, and we finish, of course, your two hands in a circle. Okay. So, this one, when you finish, this one looks very similar to crane display's wing. But the difference is, crane display's wing, you have uh, uh, upward and downward uh, mode inside your body. Okay. So the uh, right hand is much higher than this one. Okay. So this one, the right hand is beside your right temple. Yeah. So the difference is this one, your, two, uh, uh, your right hand and the left hand is much close. And the current display is when 
two hands is like uh, more apart to the up and down. Okay. So the point you need to pay attention is when you um, you when you take the right foot from the empty stance and uh, backward, you must first go close. You must first take it close to your left foot before you move backward. So you know, many, many people make the mistake is just take the right foot, go directly backward. Okay. So that's against the principle uh, of that. We first need to go close, then open. Okay. So that's the first one. First thing. Second one, you really need to put your two hands on your body. So your body moving and your hands move. So you don't just uh, moving your hands and uh, uh, separate your hands from your body. Okay. So you basically see your body moving to the right, your body moving to the left, and your hands just follow. Follow your body. Okay. And then when you finish, like I said, uh, check your fingers of your two hands. Okay. Uh, the light one should go in you know, a curve towards left. The left one should go curve towards the right. So, so uh, in your mind, these two. The, the fingers of your two hands, they pointing to a point where they can join together. Okay, so make a circle. Um, then another thing you need to pay attention is um, keep your body straight up, your upper body straight up. So don't like uh, lean backward or forward. Some people do it like that. That's not good. Keep your uh, body in vertical alignment. So just make left turn, right turn. So if I did show you here again. Number 80 is uh, turn and uh, sweep a lotus foot. So let me show you. After we have uh, striped the uh, tiger, okay. So if I show you this way, striped tiger. Fifth movement, we start with uh, this um, left empty stance. Then what you do is you um, use the bow of your right foot. This part has the turning axis and uh, your body start to turn to right. Okay, so basically you are lifting the heel of your right foot. Okay. And uh, see, keep the left foot, the toes of your left touch the ground and actually a little bit push. Okay. So to help make the turn. And then you lift the left foot. and uh, swing the left foot to the right, make the right turn. Okay. So, go in this way, then lift and uh, swing the left foot to the, make the right turn, then your left foot 
a live touch ground here, like a, uh, beside a right foot to the north, and the toes of your left foot pointing to the northeast. Okay, so basically, the uh, right foot is here before we start to make the turn, right? And the left foot is here, then you make a turn, and then the left foot arrive somewhere here. So it's like a, um, to the left of your right foot, and the toes of your left foot pointing to uh, northeast, somewhere here. And now your right foot is here, right? So you are basically when you finish, you move your body to your left foot and make the right empty stance. Okay. So if I show you this way, so we start with uh, the left empty stance like that, then use the bow of your right foot as the turning axis then lift the heel of your right foot and make the right turn. Then sweep the left foot, swing the left foot going here. Okay, so if we are, um, if we are start here, then the left foot will facing northeast. Now it's facing uh, southeast. Okay, so here. Then move your body, the weight of your body to your left foot. Then continue the right foot turn. And when you finish, then you are in that kind of right empty stance. Right. So your body supports with your left foot and the right foot is empty. So now lift the left foot and your use the waist of your body make a turn okay so lift the knee of your right leg and lift the foot of your uh, right leg then use this part the face of your right foot like a strike to the right okay so the body first turn to the left, then strike to the right. Okay, so basically this part striking. And now your two hands is here, your two hands waiting and uh, meeting the right foot. Okay. The name Lotus Foot is come uh, from the foot of Buddha. When if you go to any uh, Buddhism temple, you will see the Buddha sitting there, make meditation or something, then he is sitting with a foot like that. We call a lotus foot. Now the two hands, okay. Uh, we start uh, with uh, that kind of uh, position, the two hands. Then you move the two hands opposite direction. So the right one go down, the left one go up. Then so as your body make the right turn, okay, the two hands move this way. So um, first, the left one moving up, right one moving down, and the left one um, outside, the right one inside, and left one is up, and the, the right one is low, okay? Then continue, the left one go down, the right one go up, and the right one go over the left uh, arm. Okay, so go over, cross it, then continue, move 
So the right one continue move up and forward, and left one moving down and to the right, and then to the left. Then finally, when you finish the the turn, your two hands is in that kind of position. And with the right one uh, outside, left one inside, right one up, left one lower. Okay, so. Uh, so let me repeat like here. So first, moving to a position, the left one is outside, left, right one is inside, left one up, right one down. Then continue moving to change the position. So the right one is uh, above, and the right, left one is inside and uh, lower position. And you finish this the two hands the molded while you uh, finish the body the turn. Okay. So if I show you here, see you start as you start to lift the heel of your right foot, your two hands already start moving. See going here. Then continue moving, finish here. Right. So if I'm here, <coughs> yeah, see, as I lift my the heel of your right foot and uh, make uh, make ready to turn, I, my two hands already start moving. So if you want to practice, like uh, separating your two hands without turning uh, your feet, then you basically do this, this kind of thing. Okay. Uh, it looks like a two circle, okay, in an obliquely, uh, obliquely move. Okay, it's not a horizontal or vertical. It's going this way, see, to circle, moving right down. Okay, so you can you can practice many many times to get used to that. Okay, so um, put it together. Then you are ready, like uh, uh, you are ready to sweep the lotus foot. Now you are in a right empty stance. Okay, your your two hands is here, meeting the right foot. Okay. Then you use the muscle of your waist, of your, your body, to uh, strike. See. So you. Your two hands just like a rotate, so rotate, so they are palm facing, like waiting for the right foot, and the right foot strike the your two hands. First, meet the left hands, then meet the right hands, then as you like uh, touch each other, then the right hands continue moving to the left and. Your right foot, like continue go to the right. Okay, so like that. Then you drop down the right foot. Okay, so that's the uh, turn and the sweep load foot. Some details you need to pay attention. Uh, first, to make the turn, first you can use the tools of your left foot to push against the ground so your your body make a right turn okay but you must push the ground lightly okay relax your left foot relax your left leg 
So make the push light, not too heavy. Okay. And then once you're ready to lift the left foot, then swing the left foot to make a right turn. Your left foot just move above the ground. Okay. Uh, this way. Okay. You don't lift your left foot too high. Okay. So the sole of your left left foot just like just above the ground and move horizontally in a circle. Okay. And lead <coughs> lead the move by the toes of your left foot. Okay. So you don't move this way, but like see down. That's the move. And, and also when you uh, land the left foot on the ground, first use the tools and the bow of your left foot to land on the ground. So it's going this way. Like that. Like that. Like that. Okay. So um, once your left foot touch your ground, then you move, shift the weight of your body to your left foot, then empty the right foot. At that time, uh, you need to sit down a little bit. So by sitting down a little bit, your right foot is totally empty. Okay, so going this way and down, then lift you. your right foot now is totally empty and lift it. Then you can continue with the uh, sweep of your right the many people find it is difficult to 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 sweep the right foot and also keep the body uh, steady. Okay, now what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, use the muscle of your waist and uh, uh, basically you need to like uh, fold this part. Uh, looks like you are trying to use your thigh to touch your abdomen like that. Okay, then sorry. Like that. So you don't just go in this way. So like that. And also you need bend at your knee. Okay. So your right leg is not uh, straightening. Okay, so it's not like a, a stick. Okay, it's bent here, so the right leg is more close to your hands. Otherwise, like that, you have no way to touch the foot with your two hands. Okay, so going this way, and your two hands. See, like I said, first it's here. Once you lift it and start to swing, your two hands rotate so they are facing, facing the right foot, waiting here. So you don't uh, volunteer to use your two hands to hit the foot. Rather, you are waiting here for your right your foot to touch your two hands. Okay. So, the bottom part going make a turn first to the left then to the right but the upper part first go to the right then go to the left so see they are they are moving in opposite direction okay like that okay so that's how you make the swing of uh, those the, uh, foot Next one is draw a bow shooting a tiger uh, in Chinese Wan Gong Se Hu. Okay. So we have a uh, here then okay. so 
my shoe over here. So first of all, uh, feet movement. We start. Uh, we start with uh, just finishing the sweeping load foot. So your right right uh, uh, leg is here, like pointing to southeast. And you drop the right foot, and then you're sitting down. Okay. Bend your left leg, you are sitting down, then step your right foot forward towards southeast, then touch ground with two uh, heel first, then you move your body to your right foot, make the right bow stance, adjust the left foot, make the uh, right bow stance towards uh, southeast. So that's how you uh, move the uh, feet, that's simple. Then the hands. So as we sweep the right foot, our two hands moving as your body turn to left. Two hands moving to the left. Then as your body sitting down, you bend your left leg and drop your right foot. And sitting down, your two hands also drop down and rotate the right hand, so the palm facing up, and uh, it's drop down. Then your body turn to right, and two hands turn to right, go in front of your abdomen, and uh, the right hand look like a um, brush, the right knee. Okay. Then go move to the right side of your body. Then changing into two fists. Okay, so you have two palm now changing into two fists, then moving upward. Moving upward, then the right fist moving close to your head, to your ear, while your left fist moving upward and uh, arrived in front of your chest. Okay, so you go here. That yeah. with the um, right, right fist in that kind of position, okay. the heart facing here and this part facing forward, and the, the, the right one here, heart face like uh, front, and this part facing uh, left, left. Okay, so going this way now, you are body um, moving towards the right foot to make the bow stance. Okay. Your body moving forward to your right foot and also your body turn to left. Okay. So going this way and your two fist strike out. So the right one just strike uh, upward and forward, and it arrive beside just above your uh, right temple. Okay, so the right one going here, and then the left one start here, then strike out. So it's um, it's moving forward and arrive like in front of your chest oh. here. Okay. So let me show you again. So we have a, a, a slope, then sitting down, sitting down, turn to the right, moving upward, then going this way. Okay. So when you finish, that's the position. So if we are here, right? So when you finish your body, uh, the bow stands towards southeast, and your 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 face and your two fists is hitting.
towards like uh, east a little bit to the north. And if I show you this way, okay. So there are still some uh, detail you need to pay attention. First, um, very important thing is you you're sitting down and the step your right foot forward. You need to keep your body. Uh, weight of your body still supported by your left foot. Don't move your body to your right foot too quick. Okay, you need to first like, stay on your left foot and uh, continue finish the right turn of your body. So you, you turn your body to the right, then move your weight to your left, uh, to your right. So you first should support your body with your left foot and uh, complete the turning to your right. Then after, see, after you have uh, turned your body to the right and your two fist is ready to strike, then you move your body to your right foot and uh, also turn your body to the left. Okay, so you move your body forward and turn your body to the, to the left. See, going here. And, uh, so, uh, but you need to complete all this moving and turning smooth in a circle. So there's like no uh, pointing part. Right? So it's going. So, see, like two hands moving in a circle and finish in a curve, okay? And uh, you need to synchronize your body, like moving forward, turning to the left, turning to the right, and your two hands striking out, so it should all be synchronized and uh, complete at the same time. That's very important uh, thing. And uh, also you need to pay attention, when the people, when they, see, they, uh, strike the right fist upward and forward, they tend to lift the pelvis and the shoulder. Okay. Uh, you need to pay attention that still keep your elbow and the shoulder dropped okay, when you strike uh, forward and upward. Okay. So, okay. And also the left arm when you finish, the left arm is in a curve. Okay. It's not going like a straight line. Okay. So you should still keep bend in the curve. And then of course your body you keep your butt straight up, okay. not lean forward. The standing that on your right both stems. After shooting a tiger, then the 82 is uh, deflect, parry, and punch. Okay, so we already know that. I just show you how we start. So you you move your body back to your left foot and uh, your two fists drop down and uh, take the right foot close to your left foot before you turn your body to the left and uh, to the right and uh, do the first deflect okay so so here then just continue with Parry and punch. Okay. So if I show you here, there will be that. Then just drop your two fists down and move your body to the left foot. Take the right foot close to your left foot 
then turn to left, then turn to right, then pay punch. Okay. So nothing new. And uh, 83 is like seal, like cruise. Well, we already know that. So after the punch, The 84 cross hands. So they are all like repeating what we have discussed. The 85 is closing posture. So it's not uh, too conflict. We start from cross hands, 84, and what you do is so very simple, you just extend your two hands forward and uh, uh, your two palm facing downward, okay. Then the uh, separate to left and right with your shoulders, with then leading by the two elbow, sink down, guiding your two arm naturally drop down, okay. Then arrive to a position that your two palm still facing down, push like uh, to the ground and uh, arrive beside your uh, two paw, okay, uh, beside the uh, two waist. Then naturally drop down your fingers and your, your hands, your arms. So basically this is uh, um, the same as the starting posture. So, and uh, usually that's the end of the uh, sequence of uh, 85 forms. But like uh, I mentioned at the very beginning, like we can start the 85 forms in that kind of posture, like with the two feet standing apart. Okay. Then if you start at that kind of posture, then you finish this kind of posture. But if, like I said, some people start the form from this kind of posture like the two feet standing close to each other and they like, uh, have this move, right? Then they start the uh, starting posture. If you, you are doing that way, then you also need to finish the sequence with this move. So, yeah, some people do that way, okay, some people don't, uh, it's up to yourself. In this part, we discussed uh, from form 74 to form 85, the closing posture. Now let me put everything together and then show you. So we start with uh, <coughs> Cross and levers. 